Tank was like, he would always message me like in general, was like, yo, you gonna be good. Like he would always like motivate me and things like that. But I think after sparring him, he like kind of like, like, yo, he probably, I think, I think he got it. And um, one day, bro, he texted me. He was like, yo, I'm gonna fly you out to Baltimore. He flies me out to Baltimore, me and my girl. I'm in the car. He looks in the back seat. He says, you ready to turn, bro? I say, what? Mark Castro. <laughs> That's one of, one of the ducks. Um, one of the ducks. <laughs> okay. uh, pretty much, uh, you know, don't disrespect to Mark Castro, decorated guy, decorated amateur, um, hard worker, um, great fighter, I think. Um, but I think I have the ability, the skill to beat him. And um, he's been offered to fight me. Didn't, didn't want no smoke. That's another guy that's a duck, but I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. He's scary. Whatever you're doing, go hard. Uh, if it's something you love, push. Take it to the top. Don't give up. You have good, you have bad days. Who gives a fuck? You know, just, just keep going. Welcome back to another episode of Van Stale. Thank you all for viewing and subscribing. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. The best is yet to come. Today's guest is one of the most naturally talented guys coming up in the sport of boxing. He is also an actor and appeared in the movie Creed 3. With a record of 9-0 and no and 8 knockouts, we have the Michael Harris. Yo, 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 man. What's good? What up, Chad? What up, dog? Uh, hey. Appreciate y'all for having me. Nah, man. I appreciate you for coming. Definitely. On a Sunday, on an Easter. You yeah. feel me? Hey, Thank you again. Easter. I didn't happy say Easter. that. I don't know if... If I was back at home, then I'd probably get celebrate Easter, brother. You know Yeah. What? But we in Miami, so right now. Yeah, yeah, all your yeah. families in Georgia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You coming down to Miami? You gonna move here? Oh yeah, for sure. I'll be here real soon. You bringing Ooh. the family too, or you going? The whole family gotta come. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, cool, definitely. cool. 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 So what brought you out here though originally? Just training? Oh uh, man. So pretty much, I've been coming down here for like pretty much the past couple months lately. Um, I love the training. Uh, I love the sparring that I get. Some good work down here. Yeah, yeah, definitely, bro. Some real good work. And um, I was like, yeah, why not? Kind of like just pretty much stay here. I saw you got some work with my little bro the other day, uh, Aaron Aponte. Aaron Aponte, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we actually used to be signed to the same manager, Peter Kahn. Mm. Um, I was signed to him like three years ago, but um, you know, he's a he's a great fighter, bro. I've been getting some good work with him lately. Um, he fights at one forty. One forty. Um, bro, y'all both are coming up. Yeah, yeah, we both coming up in the game. Um, I love the work. We back at it Tuesday though. Oh Ooh. yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's gonna be like our third time sparring. That's cool. You know, we just, we rocking it out, though, for sure. That means you could fight all the way to 40, 47, easy. I mean, you got the frame for it. Yeah, we like the same height and the same body. Yeah. You know, he's like a little bit bigger because, you know, he's Obviously. naturally a 140. I'm Obviously. naturally a 130. This might be a but stupid yeah. question, but I just want to ask it. You think you can make 126? Too, too, that's too much, right? You know what's the craziest thing, bro? My manager asked me the same thing last night. <laughs> oh, last oh, night? Yeah, it was, night? Yeah, it was at dinner. He was like, can you make 126? And I was like, I probably had to cut a leg off. That's <laughs> too much. Yeah, too but much. you never know, IJ. You never know. But I had to ask. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you have to weigh the pros and the cons. Is it worth it when he's already five foot eleven, fighting at yeah, one thirty? Yeah. What's yeah, the point it's, it's of going really down to twenty six when he's already a big one thirty? If anything, it's gonna be more cons than pros because he's gonna weaken himself. He's gonna drain himself. You know. And then now you're only fighting four, six, eight rounders, but what happens when he starts fighting 10, 12 rounders? It's that's different. when the weight cut starts to affect. Oh, yeah, yeah, and them you later rounds, I mean? that's when you feel it. So, yeah. is it worth it? I don't think so, because you're already big. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? What do you walk around at what weight? Uh, around by like 150. No box that says the truth about uh, what they yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey, man, but the topic everybody wants to talk about, bro, you appeared in the movie Creed 3, bro. How did that go down, man? And when are we going to see you in another movie? Uh, so pretty much uh, one of my friends, he was, uh, my, he's actually my photographer. And um, he called me in one day. He was like, yo, I was showing Michael B. your page. I want you to be in the movie. And um, pretty much, you know. That's it. They let me know the details, and I was there. And that's how I started. Uh, met met some pretty good people, like Jose Benavidez, um, the oh. Mint Queen, a um, couple other actors. Of course, Michael B. Jordan and guys like that. So it was it was pretty dope. Yeah. Connections are heavy, man. Oh, yeah. That means a lot. It, that means a lot. Facts. That didn't got me through the door in a lot of things that I've been doing lately. And that was your first acting role? Um, I want to say third. Oh, okay. Actually. Yeah, because I did a video with Rick Ross well, yeah, and Young I Jeezy. I've seen those, yeah. Um, So I pretty much, like, 
coordinated that whole thing, that whole set that we did that day for the music video. So that was like all me right there. And um, I did that and I did a commercial, which was actually playing in Atlanta with one of my realtors. So he had that like on Super Bowl weekend. So throughout the whole Super Bowl, he bought him a spot on there and that was pretty dope. What do you like better, the acting or the boxing? Boxing all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was Box- testing you, though. I was testing boxing you. Boxing all day, man. Boxing gonna always be my first love. But don't get me wrong, man. Acting would be a great career. I mean, afterwards. you don't get hit, you yeah, get paid. For sure. I oh, mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. Man, I, I, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there, bro. Boxing could be the first love, but if it's actually fighting or acting and making the, you know, the big bucks, I would go with the acting. I don't gotta get punched in the man, face. Man, you know what's the crazy thing about it? I feel like acting. Little do people know, like just being on set, like with Michael B. And they keep saying cut and redo it, bro. We did the same shot times. for like six hours. Then you turn around for another six hours, they do this angle, and you're saying the same thing or doing the same thing over and over. It's do you know tedious. how? Do you know how much I got so tired of shadow boxing? And, <laughs> and don't get me wrong, you go to the gym, you shadow box for like an hour, right, depending right. on you know your situation. But on set, I'm shadow boxing for like hours with the S. So I'm like, bro, this is kind of getting kind of tiring. <laughs> repeating the same shit. Repeating the same shit. <laughs> or just, you know, looking a certain way. You got to keep the same mug on your face or whatever it is. So it it's a it's a hard job as well. Did but, you ever have a conversation with Michael? Oh, yeah, yeah. What kind of like, you know? Oh, uh, just basically like we was on set. You know, he was just talking about like boxing, you know, other fighters just coming up, you know, certain fights. Um... He was motivating me, just basically telling me, like, yo, you got the look, bro. You should, like, hmm. kind of consider this. Um, he gave me a lot of a buzz, you know, with the um, on camera being seen. So I thought that was just pretty dope. Uh, it was super cold outside one day. Weird story. <laughs> I had on a tank top because I'm leaving from the set, right? Hmm. So it was, like, lunchtime or whatever. Walks by, bro, you cold? I'm the only one without a jacket. Cause I, I'm coming to set. I'm ready. Cold I'm, I'm just ready to just do my shot and yeah. just be out. I'm cold as hell. He's like, Yo, <laughs> here's my jacket. I'm like, Nah, man, I don't want your jacket. He give me his jacket. Yeah. You know, we chatted that's up. Dope. We that's eat lunch that's together. Love. He showed love. He showed love, bro. He was a real cool dude, man. Yeah, yeah you guys still have a. We, did you guys establish a good friendship though? Like outside of the acting, like. You guys... Oh yeah, definitely, man. If I see him, man, it's much love all day. That's good for you, man. Yeah, for sure. It's inspiring too, man. Coming from nothing to you know being in these platforms, what inspires you? Uh, what inspires me, man, is just pretty much right now is my kids. Like, I have two boys, so they're my biggest inspiration. You know, they boosted my career just just so much, you know, just training harder, just focusing more. Like, when my first son was born, because they're like a year apart, they're one mm-hmm. and two, and I would have my first son, like, he would always be in the gym with me. So I had, like, the little, the little um, pack and play. Put him in the pack and play. He's watching me spar. He's crying. <laughs> but it's kind of like, at the same time, like, you're watching this and it's motivating me. Now it's to the point, like, I have two of them and then it, I do the same thing and they walk around with the gloves on. They see the pictures in my house, you know, with me. And they're just like, fight, fight? I'm like, yeah. They walk around <laughs> and they're beating each other up. But two boys, right? It's pretty dope. Yeah, two boys, man. Are you going to let them fight if they want to be fighters? Everybody asks that question. You know, being a fighter... It's hard, right? I, I want your kid. I don't think I can take that. I feel like if some, you know, anything happened in boxing, man, I see my <laughs> son get knocked out. I'm going to be ready to fight myself. <laughs> you know, so it's pretty tough. Yeah. Man, well, I got two kids as well, but I don't really think I'm going to have that problem because I have two girls. So you're, you're straight. You never know, though. You yeah. never know. Look at Clarissa. The yeah, whoa, I was about whoa, to say that. Know. They might want to be the next Clarissa Shields yeah, or the next Kayla. Uh, Ali, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. So you never know. Yeah, for sure. You were born in Ohio. Yeah, correct. So how was how was growing up in Ohio? Cause then and when when did you move to to, to ATL? Uh, I moved to Atlanta when I was thirteen. So I started boxing at nineteen. Um, growing up in Ohio, it's a boxing. Ohio is just completely mm-hmm. like really just a boxing state. You got Sean Porter, Adrian yeah, yeah. Broner. It's, a, it's, it's an athlete state. Yeah, really, it's, and especially oh, for yeah. boxing for fighting. Oh yeah, it's yeah. an athlete state. Yeah. Like you got football players, basketball yeah. players. Dope. You know, people go hard. Mm. You know, so you got to be doing something. For sure. Um, but for me, I didn't start off boxing, believe it or not. Um, like, I, again, I started boxing at 19. I was like a computer geek. <laughs> to no be way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, damn. I, 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 yeah, I was like a social media. You look like an athlete. Guy. But in what way, though? Like on computer? Like what, like uh, IT stuff? Like No, no, no. Social media marketing. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So I was like real big on that when I was younger. Um, 
just found the outlet. It was making me some money at the time, so it was pretty dope. And I was like pretty like crazy about it. So I just kept doing it. But then one day some random happened. I got tired of it. And don't get me wrong, my dad used to, like, when I was younger, he would teach me how to defend myself. So I never really got beat up too much, but a little bullied because of my size. I was super skinny at the time. But then they fight me, and then I beat them up. They be like, oh, okay. Oh, never mind. I mean, not mess with the skinny boy no more. So uh, just pretty much uh, one day, I had just finished high school. Like a year later, I, I ended up not going to college because I was making some decent money at the time. Well, at least I thought it was decent at that time. And um, pretty much my dad was like, yo, it's a boxing gym down the street. He just telling me that. Randomly. <laughs> randomly. Like, he just, we walking past each other in the house. He like, it's a boxing gym down the street. It just opened. I'm like, okay, whatever. A little weird, right? Like, yeah. But I'm sitting there that night. I'm like, this is getting kind of boring. So I'm like, I might go to the gym tomorrow and just see. I'm going to try it out. <laughs> I'm try it out. So I end up trying it out. Bro, like my second day, this crazy coach threw me in there to spar. But I sparred, dude. He had like. 60 amateur fights at the time, right? <laughs> Crazy part is I ended up doing good oh, and yeah. just naturally just kind of had that, uh. That and, hunger, that dog in you. Yeah, and I was like, I want to keep doing this. But then, like, my, my, I think my second or third time sparring, I sparred some other kid, whooped my ass. <laughs> but it kind of pissed me the fuck off. So I was like, all right, um, I'm going to have to turn up a little bit more and train and really – you know, be a real fighter if I want to take this serious. But that guy right there that beat me up, he kind of, you know, motivate. You he, yeah, he woke me up. He showed me, like, basically, like, yeah, you can get a good day on somebody else, but. Not like, on me. Not on me, you know. So I was like, I'm going to definitely have to come back and get a good day on him. So I started training harder. So now I, I remember, like, going in the house, just watching, like, boxing videos and stuff like that, documentaries, just seeing how to, you know, internet shit. But um, being there, training. It just showed me a different look, and I got my get back, and I got mm-hmm. my get back in a great way because that day he just kind of, like, tapped me up. But when I spar him again, I stopped him. So, <laughs> so it was a little different. So, yeah, that was pretty dope, man. So you started at 19. Yeah. When did you meet Tank? When did Tank see you? How did that happen? Why didn't you stay in the amateurs longer as well? Because you went pro you only had 14 fights. After, right? Like right, yeah, 15 years. fights. Okay, so why didn't you stay in the amateurs longer? Um. So... Great story. I mean, great um question. Pretty much, I met Tank maybe like a year and a half after boxing. Like 21. Amateur. Yes, up in there. No, sooner. I've been pro since 2019. I met Tank probably like 17. Mm. He didn't even have a world title yet. And um, Pretty much, uh, we would just like, we just pretty much just hang out buddies, you know, gym buddies and things like that. Uh, he'll just come to Atlanta. You know, he's out of Baltimore. Mm-hmm. He trains out of Baltimore. And, um, he, but he would just be in Atlanta a lot. So I got introduced with him through another friend. So we'll just all like hang out, you know, go to the gym here and there. So we started being pretty close. And um, probably like a year and a half go by, I was telling Tank, like, I want to spar you. <laughs> Man, he looked at me crazy. He bust out laughing. He was like, bro, get the fuck like, get out of here, bro. Like, <laughs> I've seen the work he put in the gym, bro. He knocks people mm-hmm. clean out, bro. Like, he's he's really like that, bro. His power yeah. is real. Everything is real, real. Skill and everything. And he has a lot that he hasn't even shown to the world. Um, But pretty much, I was just telling him, like, oh, I really want to <laughs> try it. Like, you know? Like, I like to test myself to this day. Yeah, I want to see what level I'm at. Yeah. I want to compare. Again, he's laughing. So now he's like, okay, we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> so we stop. He didn't have, I don't even think he had like, he had like his other gear, but he, I don't think he had like a mouthpiece. And he goes and he's like, stop at Target. We go, we go, we get a mouthpiece. He's just laughing the whole way. No, he's not. Back to the car, to the gym. <laughs> he's just like, that's kind of motivating though. Like, oh, you laughing at me? All right. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So, um, end up, um, it was three of us at the time. And, um, I just, I was the second man my first time sparring him. <laughs> so, were you nervous? Leading up to it, like, oh, damn, I'm really about to do this. Were you a little nervous? A little bit. A little bit. That's <laughs> yeah. Tank, I mean. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, I ain't gonna that's, lie. That's normal. Bro. That's like, normal, but. I, I was super but nervous. But Tank is Tank. Tank is Tank, bro. You know, he deserved that. And uh, he was sparring a guy like 27 and 1 at the time. <laughs> that, he's in the ring with him first. He get him out of there like in two rounds. I can't make <laughs> it up. He beat, bro, he had his hands behind his back. Hand the dude up because laughing, dude, bust out, bleeding. He stopped, dude, right? And then you come in. And then I'm in. 
and we go like um six rounds mm. and um surprisingly and uh you know it was great work you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay okay <laughs> you know it was, was good it was great work um you did your thing yeah and it's i think it surprised him and um uh, pretty much um Tank was like he would always message me and like in general was like yo you gonna be good like he would always like motivate me and things like that but I think after sparring him he like kind of like was like yo he probably I think I think he got it and um one day bro he texted me he was like yo I'm gonna fly you out to Baltimore he flies me out to Baltimore me and my girl I'm in the car he looks in the back seat he says you ready to turn bro I say what he said yeah he said I'm gonna put you on my card I'm gonna sign you. And I'm like, what? So end up, man, that's just how it all happened, man. I end up I calling him every day because I thought it was like a joke or something. <laughs> so I'm calling Yo, him. Yo, stop trolling me, dog. <laughs> it got to the point he got so mad. He was like, yo, if you call me one more time and ask me the same question, I'm kicking you off the car. <laughs> so I just like, all right, let me just train. And he's like, yo, just stay focused. I got you, right? So, um, yeah, man, that's basically what happened, man. I ended up fighting in Baltimore on the, the Javante versus Nunes. Um, it was his homecoming for Baltimore, I think. And uh, fought there, man. Big crowd, like 15,000 people. Pretty dope. Came back, fought again under the Javante versus Gamboa card. Mm. And, uh, man, it was a ride, bro. Uh, Got to appreciate Tank because Tank really got my foot into the door. So I'm very thankful. You won your first fight by knockout in the first round. Yeah. How did that feel? The best feeling ever, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I was jitters. so nervous, bro. Um, throwing on the pro gloves, they felt, you know, if you know, it's raw. <laughs> yeah, it's it feels raw. raw. That's what it feels like. It feels like, yeah, these gloves ain't gonna protect my face if I get hit pretty much. <laughs> so, you know, um, just walking to the ring, super nervous. My legs are shaking for sure. And to this day, I still get a little butterfly. A hundred percent. But nowadays, it's more of excitement more than nervousness. Yeah. I'm excited. You will always have that feeling though. But if someone that bell clicked though, when That's you hear it. that bell ring, it's like tunnel vision. That's it. Focus. Let's work. You're dead. Yeah. <laughs> so, man, again, till this day, beautiful thing. I love it. Let me ask you a question. You said that he said he was gonna sign you. Whatever happened with that? What? Um, just so pretty much. Um, at that time, you know, he was still GTD coming up mm -hmm. as well. Um, your pro now. I didn't. Plus, I needed the experience. So, uh, me and him just like, you know, everything wasn't in order with GTD at the time. And uh, just pretty much, you know, we're just like, all right, let's float it, but a different way. You know what I'm saying? I wanted, and me personally, I want to create my own path. I didn't want to just be under tank. Like, you know how people was paying like Floyd with tank all the time? Yeah. And yeah. they were like, it gets kind of annoying. Now, tank is his own guy. Now, we can look at tank like, Oh, this is Tank. Right. I didn't want to do that for myself. So I wanted to create my own path, yeah, you know, yeah. because I was like, you know, I took I take boxing serious. You know, I'm not an internet fighter. I'm not none of that. Like, I got goals I want to accomplish, you know. Yeah, you Tank, wanna, is, Tank is my boy. I love him, bro. You want to make a name for yourself. Exactly. Like, if you tell me, like, I have to fight Tank, then guess what? I got to go good in the gym. I got to go do my thing. I got to get ready. We fight Tank. That's right. how I feel. You know, I want to be the best, you know. And all love to him, man, because I thank him so much, bro. I wouldn't probably be in a seat without him. Now, I, don't, I, I mean, what you're saying is nothing offensive. Is it's just coming from a fighter's perspective. Oh, yeah, perspective. definitely, bro. 100. For it's sure. a fighter spirit, bro. Do, do you regret turning pro so soon, though? And not getting more amateur experience? Um, Not really, because I feel like I spar with so many top amateurs. I spar with so many, you know, good pros, prospects, and everything, bro, champions. Um. They're stuck in their ways. And I feel like me not having that um, that many fights, you can critique certain things. A coach can critique certain things, and you can show me a little bit more. You can tweak it. Yeah, you can tweak it. With them, it's kind of hard to tweak because they're already stuck that way. They didn't have 200 fights. This, this is the They've same. been throwing the same type of jab. They've been saying the same right hand or whatever the case may be mm -hmm. for so long, they're used to it. There's you no know? saying you can't teach an old I, dog I can be taught tricks. more. Right. You know, and, and it shows, and it really shows. Also really important, the wear and tear that you don't have. Exactly, so yeah. I can last thing. a lot longer. Yeah, they can't do that. Yeah, that, they, that's, that's, they get hit a certain amount of times because they've already been hitting the amateurs without getting paid. Their career is probably not going to last too long. 
you opposed know? to yours, you're a lot fresher. Yeah, yeah, a lot fresher. I feel like the only difference is you got to catch up. Um, mm. Of course, you don't have that much experience. You haven't fought in the nationals, the you know Olympics, or whatever the case may be. So you got to do a lot of catching up, and that comes with the quality of work you get. So that's pretty much like why I'm here in Miami as well to get the better work. Even though I sparred the champions, I sparred multiple champions, um, multiple prospects. I'm about that work. So that's why I think I, in the seven, six and a half, seven years that I've been boxing, and these guys have been boxing like 20 years since they was like five. We're the same age. They've been boxing since they were five. And I'm on their level or just right there. That's crazy. But it's all about the quality. Yeah, so no, uh-huh. that'll work hard. No, I mean, you're, you're definitely naturally talented. That There's no doubt about it. But... Uh, you know what, what you said about it's about moving you right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, Getting yeah. That, that experience right at the right time at the right pace, you know? Yeah, definitely. And I think you've been doing that. You've been doing just that. Yeah, for sure. I want to talk. Let's talk about your sixth fight. It ended up being in a draw. Uh-huh. Talk to us. What happened in that fight? Um, Just pretty much uh, nobody to really blame but the judges in the town <laughs> that we fought in. <laughs> uh, Pretty much. Uh, So the kid that I fought, he was actually out of my hometown. Mm. So the fight that he had before was there in uh, Myrtle Beach, right? He fought one of the promoter fighters, and he got dropped, got back up, dropped the guy. It was scheduled to be like a six-round fight. They pulled like some crazy stunt or whatever because their guy was about to get knocked out by the guy that I fought. Mm. They Weird. The politics of boxing already. Pop. They changed it to like a four-round fight in the middle of the fight mm. just so they could got. Then they gave that fight a draw, right? So then I think I fought the guy like right after. Same same place, same town. Same shit. They did him a favor. He got very lucky to get a draw because, yeah, he didn't deserve no draw. He didn't deserve none but a loss. But, um, yeah, man, we was like fighting in the back about the decision and everything. And, um, yeah. It's, it's hard to overturn. It's hard. The commission, nobody agreed. Nobody it's boxing. It's boxing, bro. Do you want to run it back with him, though? He don't. You don't, you know, want, you you don't know how many times we tried to run it back with this kid? He don't want no smoke. He don't want it. He nah. said no, man. They offered him, like, great amount of money, great amount of everything. He was like, no, I'm not ready right now. Yeah. You know, like, I was like, ah, whatever. He yeah. knows what's up. Yeah, but that's, yeah. like, taking a, ba- a step back for him. Man. No, yeah, like, yeah, That's in the past, man. Uh, now it's in the past. It's bigger and better things now. If it was, like, the fight after or two fights after, yeah, like, was, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah, you know, but now I'm like, I'm like, four fights after that, I'm like, bro, You're I don't even care. Right yeah, it's whatever. And plus, I get better offers to fight real guys that For I sure. and them guys turning still turning the fight down with a draw. They still turn the fights down. You'd be surprised. <laughs> some 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 popular guys. Yeah, yeah. You, you ain't gonna say no names. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a name at you. <clears throat> what do you think about him? He won last night by KO. Mark Castro. <laughs> That's one of, one of the ducks. Um, one of the ducks. <laughs> okay. Uh, pretty much. Uh. You know, no disrespect to Mark Castro, decorated guy, decorated amateur, um, hard worker, um, great fighter, I think. Um, but I think I have the ability, the skill to beat him. And um, he's been offered to fight me. Didn't, didn't want no smoke. So uh, maybe in the future, you know, I'm not going to say nobody's too much ducking. But um but if you look at it on paper, it is kind of like you are ducking because I am the least experienced guy between us both. It's true. You have the more amateur fights. You have the more pedigree and everything like that. You get the more spotlight. You are ducking in that case. But, um, you know, business is business. You know, styles make fights. So, I guess maybe on the he, line. Maybe he's not ready right now. So, I'll look at it. Maybe later. He ain't ready. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> he's the one that ain't ready. Give That's me another name. Who, who else is ducking? Who else? Who else are you guys giving contracts to? Give me one more. Give me one more. I get. I give you one more. Um, <laughs> this was like uh, two months ago. He was supposed to fight on a showbox. Got a Philly. His name is uh, Joshua. Joshua Fat Sortie, something like that, right? He's like twelve and zero out of Philly. Uh, he signed with uh, Lou DiBella. They don't want that smoke. I can't say too much, but um, pretty much. He got his spot took from him for being on Showbox for not fighting me, you know? So, no smoke, man. I called him out multiple times. I'm like, yo, <laughs> he, don't, he don't want it. They, think, they know. I, I think you got to stop putting those videos on, on YouTube and Instagram, man. People are going to get scared. No one's going to fight you, man, dog. Man, vid- look, videos only go so far mm. at the end of the day. 
Like I've seen some blows. guys that can still knock out guys, and I didn't pit it on them or vice versa. You know, so there's been some guys that have gave me some good work. I'll be honest, I'm a fighter, but I'm a real honest guy. But um, I don't think none of that mean. Then I just think Scott um, skills and um, you know, attributes it means a lot in boxing. It does. Uh, picking the right fights it means a lot. We're in pro boxing. At the end of the day, it's a business. I get it. But um, I'm a fighter, man. I'm just willing to show my ability to anybody. That's just how I am. I ain't never scared of nobody. Like, you offer me a fight, I'm like, yeah, I want that guy. You with it? You hungry? Oh, at, yeah, for sure. At the end of the day, sparring is sparring. Fighting is different. Yes. Man, sparring and fighting is way different. Way different. Way different. Bro, you got God, man, you know how many guys I've sparred and I'll just walk in there and I'm like, just work on this today. But he might think, like, yeah, I, I got him today. I'm like, yeah. bro, I was really working on something yeah, today. Yeah. But all right, we'll see if we get into a fight. We'll probably knock you out in, like, the first couple rounds you know so it's now, a difference now that we're talking about sparring you know let's 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 make it a little juicy i know you sparred tank yeah shakur stevenson and haney out of those three men oh he's laughing already oh shit who, all right oh who's the most talented who gave you the toughest work stuff like that and who was the easiest work not easy disrespectfully but like damn like okay this was easy who, who did you do way. your best against yeah, let's say how it is dog. easy work none are easy none. okay the Facts. champions for a reason. That's Facts. number one. Um, very hard workers. Very talented fighters, all three of them. Um, that's a tough question. <laughs> um, uh, pretty much, if I had to pit it in order, in a boxing standpoint, not just because I sparred them, mm -hmm. because, again, sparring is sparring. Sparring is sparring. Never know. I think that Shakir has the better IQ out of any boxer at 135, respectfully. He doesn't have the most power. He doesn't have to have the most power, obviously, if you seen last night. <laughs> he can just stop you because he's so damn consistent and he accurate. So like accurate. Accurate, precise, very precise. He's really like that, bro, really. Um, so I'll say that. I think Tank... It's the faster, the stronger, but I think that in fights, I think Tank takes his time a little bit. He, I feel like he loses a couple of rounds, but he's kind of calculating in that time, and then he catches you. So if Tank catches, I mean, obviously, if Tank catches you. Lights out. It's lights out, right? I think Devin uses his reach. Him and, I mean, him and Shakur have that in common. Oh, they use their reach very well, um, and, and they're sharp. So it's kind of hard to choose, like, the best out of the three because I don't feel like it's no best until they really fight each other and really prove it. But I think the fight that everybody would love to see, which I think will be the craziest fight out of the three, would be Shakir and Tank. I think that fight right there is going to be, like, crazy. Damn, I'd rather watch Shakur and Devin. Because they're two. If you watch that fight, you might go to sleep. Mm, probably not, bro, because Shakur's going to come forward, bro. I think. Listen, it, it, ain't, it, ain't, ain't going to be the most. Ex I, in my opinion, I don't think it's going to be the most exciting fight. I think it'll be sure. more. Probably. If you're a boxing guy, yeah, you're going to love exactly. this fight. That, yeah, that's yeah. where I'm coming we from. we boxing guys. Yeah, I want to like, see the IQ. I yeah, want to see who, 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 who figures really out the better yeah, one. Who, exactly. For the crowd, the fans. But, yeah, so but for the fans, for the for the right. for the money and everything like that, and everything that's on the line that comes about the notoriety, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, probably Tank and Shakur. I but, think that fight's gonna be big. But then it goes with the Shakur might open up with Devin and might want to make it a fight. He's not gonna want to do that with Tank, so he's just gonna mm. box circles and make it a boring fight. So you might fall asleep anyway. Yeah, but Tank can probably catch Shakur. You never know. Yeah, sure. I mean, Tank is fast and all that, but at the end of the day, he is very small, so he's gonna have to do some reaching and cutting. The you know, and bro, Shakur is a master at distance. That's one thing for sure. Hey, look, bro. We'll find out April 22nd, right? When we fight Ryan with all the distance and everything. Nah, 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 nah. Don't compare Ryan to Shakur, bro. Nah, you're okay. Don't, do, saying, that. Don't right. do that, bro. But you know, Ryan, that's how Ryan is a tall guy. Yeah. Very powerful. A lot of left speed. Hook, left hook is... Don't get me wrong. Like One of the best in the game. Yeah. Of course you can't compare nah. IQ-wise. Hell no. You can't. But when you talk about attributes, no. bro, yeah. Ryan has the attributes Power. To beat a lot of guys, and I just beat. take one punch. Like I mean, you watch, bro. That left hook, 
Yeah. Sleeping everybody. Deadly. Dangerous. It's deadly. It's deadly. You know, so and he's a tall, strong guy. Um it's gonna be it's gonna be a great fight for sure. Is that us? Nah, that's me. Oh, that was the champ. Yeah, All right, I'm like tripping. I was out. like, shit, it's not me. But um that's gonna be that's gonna be a um it's gonna be a good fight for sure. Well, if that fight were to happen, Shakur and, and Tank, who do you got? <laughs> <laughs> you brought, he, you, he you're putting you in an uncomfortable spot, bro. <laughs> hey, the chunk gotta be real, though. I mean, you know. Uh, I can't go against the grain, man. Texas boy, dog. But on some real, but on some real, even going against the grain or whatever the case may be, as a boxing fan, because I am number one on boxing fans, and I'm a realist, and I don't really care. Um, it's like this. I think that Shakur will win a lot of rounds. Shakur can't get hit. I think skill for skill, Shakur is the better fighter. I don't care how nobody feel about that. Shakur is the better fighter, skill for skill, for sure. He shows it. He shows it. Last night was beautiful. Beautiful. Every fight, he shows it. I don't think he had a bad fight for real, to be honest. Um, But, you know, Tank has skill, too. And if they fight each other, it'll be something they both never seen mm. between each other. Mm. I know they sparred before in the past and things like that. I get it. But sparring is sparring. Fight is a fight. It's different. Tank got one thing you can't teach. He got that motherfucking dog and he got that power. Bruh, he will bite down. Like, Equalizer, bro. He will bite down. Like Floyd told him he was losing in the corner against Barrios. He walked out like. Took him out. Took okay, him out. bet. Took him out. Say less. He's, he, he's really like that. Like even in sparring, like. I seen dude like do some stuff like people ain't seen yet, like against guys that are way bigger than him, 16 size gloves, headgear. He will lay you out. He will pitch you to sleep. So dude is like that, man. I think he got that dog and just he'll bite down. We ain't really seen Shakur, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, we ain't seen Shakur have to bite down. Maybe he haven't needed to, obviously, because he just beat the shit out of people. But um, what happens when he's in a tough fight? We don't know. That's why I say Devin. I think Devin will make him bite down and have to think a little more. And also last yeah. night, Shakur Stevenson, quote, I always got the best of him. Tell him, come on. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? You being in the ring with them both, inspiring. I've seen them videos. I mean, yeah, but but you've been in there with both of them. So taking that, who do you think has the edge in winning that fight? Shakur versus <laughs> David. I got to ask you, champ. He going to keep doing it, huh? <laughs> I'm going to do it for y'all since I'm in the podcast. I'm going to do it for y'all. Thank you, champ. Appreciate that. Turn my phone back on because I turned you. it off for that moment. Yeah, no, you good, you good, you good. But um, man, between those two, it's gonna be a interesting fight. I sparred the two. Um, Shakur. Yeah, and when I show y'all this, it's gonna be like I've been telling everybody close to me. But I'm going to do it for y'all, man. I'm going to do it for y'all. Oh. Oh, he, oh shit. Do it for oh, oh, he got receipts. He got receipts, he, he baby. Got receipts. I like that. Oh, no. <laughs> now with that pull, no. He got, he got solid receipts. Okay. Oh, uh, shit. He got the proof. Um, oh, was, man. I scary. was in camp with um with Devin. Mm. And um, I guess Secure seen that I was in camp. Spawn with Devin. Because I was probably Secure before I went mm -hmm. to Devin. And my boy asked me, he said, I, and I'm going to keep it honest, I don't care who says it, he said, how did Devin work? I said, he's good, great work, he's sharp. But I said, I don't know about your sharp, though. He said, I figured, y'all boys keep working. <laughs> I on some real, bro, like, don't get me wrong, Devin Haney's a good-ass fighter, bro, don't get me wrong. Good. Yeah. Man, bro, something about Shakur, bro, he just different, like, he hard. He real hard to beat. Mm. On some real, like his his focus in that ring and his just preciseness and everything, bro. He's just a he a different, different guy between those two. But again, when I say with him and Tank, that's why I say him and Tank gonna be that. I guess I answered the question, huh? When you asked me about like the three, I picked Devin at the bottom. Yeah, all right, basically. Yeah, okay, yeah, pretty much. Hey, hey, respectfully though. <laughs> yeah, respectfully, yeah. man. Don't get it wrong. Yeah. You never know who can win a fight. It takes course. one punch, power or not. You never know. You hit right away. You never know. But um, out of the three. I think Shakur and Tank is those top guys. At the end of the day, there's no shame being number three in between those three guys anyway. <laughs> oh, it's no shame. <laughs> but at the end of the day, man, we got Devin Haney versus uh, Loma coming up. So, What do you think about that? Um, I fought on the Loma card one time. 
So I Which got one? a chance. Uh, him versus some Chinese guy. Oh, uh, uh, Nakatani. Nakatani. Yeah, I fought on that undercard, and um, so I got a chance to be like basically a ringside watching Loma. Bro, Loma's good. I mm-hmm. said, oh my god, yeah. bro, he turned angles and everything like yeah. it's crazy. like so smooth. Yeah, like it's one way when you're watching it like on TV or whatever. When you're there in person, like ringside, and see the way he move his feet and his or every his whole body just shift, and I'm like, how he do that so easy? It's different. It's it's different. He's very smooth. He's very calculated. Very smart fighter. Um, I don't think he has the most fight uh, power in the world, but uh, mm. I mean, obviously it doesn't mean anything, bro. He still don't how to get his guys up out of there. He's a hard fighter to beat. And I think even when he was fighting um, Tiafimo, I think that that was a good fight. It's I close. just think he started a little late. bit too late. Um, I think that he was a little devastated by Tiafimo's power and you know size and things like that, which is understandable. I get it. He came in there with kind of the wrong game plan. Mm. If he would have started maybe a couple rounds early, that could have been his decision. So yeah. you really can't sleep on Loma, man. I know he's getting older and I know things like that. But I think that that him and uh, Devin Haney is going to be a good fight. I do have Devin Haney as the winner of the fight because um, Devin's very good at using his reach. He has a great jab and things like that. But, um, yeah, you never know. Yeah, I wouldn't I be surprised know. if Loma won. I think it's the age and the size that's going to favor and, and the wear and tear. Win. Yeah, yeah and the wear and tear. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what I mean. The age and the size of, of Devin is really what's going to like secure him this uh, the domination over uh, Loma. I love Loma. I'm a huge Loma fan, but I think that father time comes for everybody, and I think that time is coming for Loma. Oh yeah, for sure, definitely. You know what I mean? We're talking too much about other people, man. Let's talk, let's get back to the champ right here, man. So you are one thirty, man. So what's up? What are your goals and plans for for this division? Who you want next? Is there somebody in mind that you you want right now? If I had to pick next, it'll be Mark Castro all day. <laughs> um, but um, you know, if I can't get him, it's a, it's a long list of one thirties that I still have to prove myself to as well. Um, man, just whoever really gonna give me that challenge. Um. I ain't really got too many, too many names, but that's one guy that's really on my list that I'm like, I want to get. You need that, you know. Um, it ain't no beef, it ain't no nothing like that. But I want to just show like he the best prospect coming up right now. I'll be, I admit it. Like at 130, he got the notoriety right now at 130 coming up. So I want to just prove to the people and to the world like I'm really that guy. So I think that's. That's my stepping stone to really boost my name. But um, outside of that, man, any of these guys, bro, like, I ain't running from no smoke. So they call my name. You ready? At 130, let's get it. But I don't think a lot going to call my name, though, for sure. But when it is time, let's do it. How long do you see yourself at 130? Um, I was fighting amateurs at 132. So that's seven years already in the bank. Um, Of course, I'm getting a little older. Um, but I still don't have a hard time making weight. I don't use sauna suits. I don't go to the sauna. I don't run in, you know, all the crazy hot weather and all that crazy stuff to make weight. I don't starve myself. I make weight healthy. Like my last fight, I fought at exactly at one thirty two or plus two. It's not one thirty, but it's one thirty two. Of course, very pretty close, very right. Um, again, I ate what I wanted, drunk what I wanted, woke up, went to sleep, didn't matter. Whatever it was, bro, I was I think I ate a cheesecake before weigh-ins. I swear to God, I'm not joking. <laughs> I ate a cheesecake before weigh-ins. I'm not joking. I was on the way to the weigh-ins. I didn't even check my weight this morning because I knew I was on weight. I, this is a not bullshit story. I go on my opponent that I was fighting Paige, and he was like, yeah, I'm in Atlanta. I'm going to whoop this dude ass. And I'm in the car driving with my knees eating a cheesecake. I said, he said he going to whoop my ass. I said, oh, I'm going to fuck him up tonight. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, definitely, bro. So I make weight pretty pretty smooth, man, for sure. How high do you see yourself going? Oh, man, it's all the way to the top, man. Um, Of course, I have high expectations of myself. A- anybody should. Um, Of course, there's still a lot of room to learn Um, at the end of the day. I still have a lot to learn uh, on my way. And I still have to prove myself. I have to fight uh certain opponents to people be like oh maybe he is that guy so i still have a lot to prove and i'm okay with that i love that i want to show that so you know it's room to wiggle i think you meant weight class though right 
Hey, but he said it beautifully though, yeah, so yeah. I can't complain. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he said it meant, beautiful. Yeah, that, that, that came out hard, but he meant like how how high in weight class do you? you see oh, how high in yeah. weight class? Oh my bad. Yeah. I was about to say like how high. Not beautiful. No, we like we like what you said anyway. But. I'm about to clip that shit too. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you did good. Um, man, I got the frame. I'm like five eleven. You big as fuck yeah. for one thirty. Yeah. I saw that damn for one thirty. For one thirty, you're very big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the tallest one thirty we've had. Hell yeah. We've had four one thirty pounders come here. For real? You're yeah. the most filled in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. Um, no homo. No <laughs> homo. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You good. You good. You good. You good. Uh, nah, it's all love, bro. It's all love. So I'm going to dive him up about that. You, you tripping, bro. About to get your ass <laughs> off my podcast. Hey, go out. Go out right now. <laughs> you ain't got the engineer laughing over here and shit. Hey, uh, look. Hey, it's like this, though. But, uh, man, I got the frame for it. I got the size for it. I definitely got the power for it. Um... I think the max, I'm going to tell you the max I want to go. The max I want to go is like 47. Then mm-hmm. I'm done. Because after that, y'all, y'all motherfuckers too big. Y'all come down. From <laughs> That's like, true, right? Bro, they come down from like 200. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to pass on y'all. Balls are real. But uh, yeah, like 147 for sure. Um, that'd be that'd be pretty dope. Whoever is a top guy at that time, I think that'd be towards the end of my career. I'd love to, you know, take a couple names out before I <laughs> before I'm done. Um, it just depends. I'm 26 now. Find that 130. I think 140 would be probably realistically my max out. Well, that is very realistic. Yeah, one 135 and 140 is very realistic, and 47 can be realistic as well. Yeah, it's about you know how do you fill in as the years go on, you know. But 47 is realistic as well because you're tall. I got bigger over the past, bro. Really over the past month, I was with my manager last night. My manager <laughs> asked me. He said. You think you can still make 130? I said, yeah. He said, do your strength and conditioning coach know what weight you fight at? <laughs> I said, I hope so. He's like, bro, you getting big, bro. I said, yeah, I said, yeah. I said, yeah, I am pretty good. I'm getting pretty big. So literally, like over the past month working here in Miami, um, with the new strength and conditioning coach and things like that, um, it's been a very big help. But um, of course, it's not time to cut weight. It's not time to do all those things. But I am filling in. But I'm walking around literally at like 144 right now, 145. I literally yeah. just hopped off the scale this morning, you know. So I was 145. The only thing I had today was a bagel and a cup of water. So I don't think I gained too much from that. <laughs> so, but I can definitely make weight. For we, sure. we didn't ask. When are we going to see you next? Oh uh, man, supposedly, hopefully, uh, we're still trying to get a confirmation. Maybe April 29th here in Miami. Oh, okay. April yeah. 29th? April 29th. What, do you know I what think promotion the F- that is? Some casino. MNR, yeah, he's going to be, I'm pretty sure, under the Bailey card. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. that fight. That's another guy that's a duck, but I ain't going to say it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> he's scary. But yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, different. That, I'm hey, a, he's that, here in Miami. That's my dog, yeah, but yeah, hey, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, that's, that's my dog. Respect yeah, to Bailey, but yeah, hey, yeah. the fight's right here. That's yeah. a good fight, though. It's a good fight to be made at one thirty <laughs> in Miami. You know, have you have you sparred him? You guys some working with him or not? Nah, I just want to fight him. Hey, my, you're in Miami like, now. He cool though. He cool. He's cool. He cool. He, nah, cool. he's he cool real he humble. Yeah, he's, he's humble. Bad, he's cool. a nice guy for real. I think he, like he was in the <laughs> army or something. Like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He 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 a good dude though. He about sure. that life. He about that life. But like yeah. you said, it's a business. That's our brother. But yeah, yeah sure. business is business. Dog. Yeah, business is business. Man, we all about like, at the end of the day, you're high, the you're high, you're high risk, low reward for him and or for yeah. a lot of fighters. So you, you know, it's a business. Yeah, it's business, man. We still, man, me and him still coming up, man. We still got to get our names out there as well. So. You know, if it happened, it happened. If it don't, you know, ain't no, ain't no pressure. But you know, the best, the best, the best thing that can happen is that you guys both see, or you or him, or whoever it is, see each other at the top and make that get big money. Pay that's so. when it's. That's when I feel like it's the best. That's yeah, when right. the atmosphere is just right. beautiful. So nice. that'll be pretty dope, man. All respect to him, though. But uh. I'm still gonna kick your ass. <laughs> hey, yeah, dude. Hey, baby, it, make it, you gotta make it happen. Yeah, yeah. You said that last night you ate some Cuban food. What's up? Talk to me. How'd you like that Cuban food? I uh, went to a spot over there in uh, Sunny Islands. In, uh, Sunny Isles. Bruh. Sunny Isles. Is that what it's called? Sunny Isles. Sunny Isles. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there. I'm getting you right, so you don't do that with the, you know. <laughs> yeah, everybody else is gonna look at me like he ain't from here. <laughs> uh, uh, definitely, man. It was, it was super good. Had me like a little Cuban sandwich or something. I had a steak. I was about to get the Cuban sandwich. I had a steak. That was cool. But that Cuban coffee? <laughs> bro. Fire. I was up to like five in the morning. 
<laughs> that I had, but I'm crazy. So I drink, you said you I had drink two, one, right? I had two. That's what you messed I up. I messed up. <laughs> I didn't up. know it was that strong, and it comes like in a little mini cup. Mm -hmm. And they was like, all you need is a cigar and a little hat, <laughs> and, drink, <laughs> and drink Cuban coffee. <laughs> so, but man, that's that coffee was super good though. I love it. If you fail on the 29th here in Miami, after you get that dub by knockout, we'll take you out to eat to a real Cuban spot and put you on a real oh, Cuban spot. A real yeah, spot. Let's do it. Let's on do it on sure. us, a real on Cuban us. spot. Let's do it. We that's got for you. sure. That's for sure. Must love. Must love. But before we wrap it up, I want to ask you some <clears throat> some some questions. I'm gonna name you some guys at 1:30, mm -hmm. and I want you to tell me what you think about them. Yeah, Ooh, for sure. And what happens in a future fight between you and them. Right, I'm gonna first start with the WBC champ Oshaki Foster. I don't know if you know who he is. <laughs> I do. Out okay. of Houston. Yeah. So how do you think? What do you think about him, and how do you see that going in the future? Um, I actually, I, wa I watched his uh, last fight when he won the title. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Uh, first of all, much love. Congratulations. You know, he's a world champion. He did it. Yeah. Um, I think that'd be a great fight. I think he's um, Shakir moved up. I think he's number one right now. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, I think I beat him for sure. Like, not even to think. I know I beat him for sure. Like watching his last fight, um, he boxed very well against. Uh, I think he fought Ray Vargas. Vargas. Yeah. Vargas had moved up. Yeah, yeah. Vargas moved up from twenty six. Mm -hmm. Um, he's a good. He's a good guy, but he's kind of like he's straight up and down. Like he easy to beat for real. You just can't really get crack or anything like that for real. But um, O'Shea Foster, he's a good. He's a good fighter. But I, I beat him for sure. I've seen some things. I'm gonna tell you now a little bit of a of a bigger name right now, more known WBO champ Emmanuel Navarrete. Navarrete, <laughs> um, he's tough. He's come tough. on, tough guy. Navarrete is kind of the same, kind of like Vargas, right? They're kind of real straight up and down fighters. I don't even feel like he had a good fight, and I don't feel like he. He he fought um Wilson yeah, he got, his last he fight. Got, he got dropped. Yeah, he on top rank. And I was watching that fight. Um, man, I don't see him. He might end up moving back down. In my opinion, I don't, I don't even think he's comfortable at one thirty. Maybe he have to get comfortable. But if you got dropped by a guy who really can't punch, imagine when you fight a guy that cracks. That's really like that. You know, he's probably the. Uh, the I mean, I, I I'm trying to say this in a nice way. He's probably the least fundamental boxer that has became champion in boxing. Like definitely. Like he has the ugliest style I've <laughs> ever seen. Nah, man, it's facts. That's and true, I'm not I'm man. not hating. I'm not hating. Yeah. He makes a bunch of technical mistakes like you see and you're like, well, how the fuck are you up here? You know what I mean? Yeah. But hey man, he makes it work and he's a tough dude. That's you can't yeah, take he, away. He definitely tough. He got back up off the canvas and you know he went to work. And it was crazy. I was texting my manager, he was like, Who you got winning tonight? I said, Well, I really got Wilson winning. And I ain't even know too much about Wilson, but I had went and watched like a couple clips and a couple fights of him that day. And I was like, well, I can see Wilson beating him. But I said, Wilson doesn't have the experience. So I said, once he get cracked, I literally, I got the messages. I, I keep receipts. You know? <laughs> That's what so, you have, though. Like, he goes, and I was like, you know what? I said, Navarrete, if he hits him, Wilson don't know how to respond because he never been in that situation. He was new to the scene. Of course. You know, he was still a baby for real. So, you know, I feel like that's why he got that advantage. But if he was like a real, like, young, hungry fighter that was like, I don't care if I get dropped and I'm going to come back on, you know, still get that knockout, he would have won. But Navarrete is Navarrete. So but you ain't tell me how, how it would go with you, though. What would you do to Navarrete? I will fuck Nav <laughs> Navarrete up. I'll fuck him <laughs> worse than Vargas, to be honest. I think. <laughs> like, I'll box him too. But you think you could do that already? I think I would do that right now. Like, if you, <laughs> bro, like, to be honest, I think I got some things up my sleeve. I ain't even showed nobody yet because, you know, I haven't had, you know, the right opponent on my face. I think when it's that time to, like, really step up, that's when I'm going to, like, it only, it only gets worse, to be honest. It only gets worse. And the more that these, you know, these guys that's coming up or ducking or whatever, you know, we call it, hmm. it's really only gonna get worse because i'm only gonna get better and better and better and y'all giving me more time y'all should really like probably i don't don't even take me right now don't do that don't do it to yourself but i'm gonna fuck y'all up <laughs> another person he just fought your boy he just fought your boy tank hector garcia yeah yeah. he's a wba champ how do you how, what do you see about him and what, what i think, think he's the better out of the three that you named for sure um he's the tougher 
God of the three. Hector gave Tank a great fight, you mm-hmm. know. Um, I think he was won a couple of rounds in that fight a little bit. Um, he beat um, who did he beat? He beat the guy what the, where the color in his hair. Oh, uh, Cobra, Chris, Chris Colbert. He beat Chris Colbert. He um, beat his ass. He yeah, he fucked him up, and on a short notice short as notice. well. Um, I think he's the again he's the hardest out of the three. Um, but that that's gonna be a great fight in the future for sure. And I'm gonna fuck him up. <laughs> yeah. I could tell that you you for as the little time you have in boxing, you have a really the mental good level, good IQ because you stated facts right now. Hector Garcia Garcia is the most technical guy out of the three by far. Yeah, for sure. And his mentality too, man. You know. Yeah, not, yeah. Not. and you, you can, can see it. You you have a good eye. You have a good IQ. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Ask this one. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> former former champ Oscar Valdez. How how you how do you, what do you think about him? How you see that going? Damn, how you gonna name three and now I gotta name the better out of the four? <laughs> All right, that's the last uh, one. That's the last one. Yeah, yeah Hector man. Garcia could give Oscar Valdez a run for his money. Uh he could. I, but uh, but what think, what you think about Oscar Valdez? I think Oscar Valdez is a good fighter. Mm-hmm. He can't beat boxers. I have an interview. That I did, um, it was like when I was in the Devin Haney camp, and they asked me about that fight between him and Shakir, and I told him, I said, bro, I called it perfectly, literally. I said, Hector's going to try and fight Shakir. It's not going to work. You're not going to be able to touch him. That's number one. Number two. You mean Oscar? Yeah, Oscar. I said, Oscar's not going to be able to touch Shakir, and, you know, he's going to try and come to fight, which is the wrong game plan, which he fight. He, he fights like that. He's a fighter. Like, he's a tough. He's a, brawler. He's a Mexican fighter. He's a brawler. But you put a brawler in there with a boxer, sometimes that really don't go well. It just depends if you got that boxer who's composed, who just the whole time just locked in and they focus. He can't beat fighters like that. So uh, with a fight like him in the future, you know, of course I need a lot more experience for a guy like that right now, I think, in personal opinion. Yeah. In the future, definitely. That's my whole thing. Just stay composed, stay smart can't let him touch you because i think he he cracks he might be juicing he over there with canelo I don't know. But, <laughs> he's, um, eating that meat. he's eating that meat <laughs> he, he over there, he over there yeah, but there. he could crack he can yeah crack he, I, I think he definitely uh has good power for sure um you just gotta just stay smart on him and just you know box him and let him run into shots and i think if you know i'm not secure obviously i'm bigger i'm a little bit stronger than secure my attributes are a little bit on that part you know more up so I think once my IQ is all the way up there and you put my attributes behind it, um, it'll be a devastating night for uh, Oscar Valdez, <laughs> for sure. He's the, bo- he's the type of guy you just got to box on the outside and he yeah. won't have no answers for you. But end of the day, man, I'm a realist. So mm. I'm all about being real. A fight like that, of course, I'm not ready now. But those other three guys, uh, especially the first two, Ray Vargas, Navarrete, those are fights that I'll be like, hmm, I'm willing to take those. You know, I think that... Uh, I, I can beat those guys right now. Uh, Hector Garcia, I think I need probably about three, four fights. We can make that possible. Oscar Valdez, same. Um, just at the end of the day, man, like I was telling you, like I ain't really want to call too many guys ducks, but business is business. You know what I'm saying? Because they can sit here and sit in the same seat I am and say, say the same thing. well, he said this. He ducking <laughs> me, right? You know, so business is business. And, you know, you know, it's all about the experience, getting the work in, you know, getting that – um that work in man and just go out there and do what you got to do so right. definitely bro but for all those guys i'm gonna fuck them up <laughs> you already know hey but i'm gonna ask a question that you usually ask oh, i know I, 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 already do it know, first. I already know it yeah fuck he you. better pick the right one uh, man, he don't got to do nothing he could do whatever the I, chat think, wants I think to i do. think it's gonna go with me hey hey who for real, for real, if the fight does keep ever fucking happen because you know we, we were like yeah we were like giving them too much hype but yeah but i want to ask yeah. you anyway i want to see who you side with Bud or Spence? I knew that was coming. <laughs> I swear, bro. We always I was just everybody. about to say that. I That's said the they could ask me about Bud and Spence. I hope he picks my guy, dog. Let's see. It's not that serious, bro. No, it's sure. not. But <laughs> like, I'm not giving them so much hype because you know they're they're killing the game right now. But whatever, it y'all, is what it is. Y'all, y'all really want to know? I mean, hey, look, if you want to tell us, <laughs> I fuck with Bud, man. Bud is a uh, he a good guy. So I met Bud in the Shakur camp, and I actually just seen him when I was in the Devin Henney camp last week. And he was in the mall. He walked up to me. He was like, "Yo, what up, boy?" I was like, "Oh shit, damn, Bud, crazy." World champions walked up to you, like, yeah, that's maybe I'm doing pretty good. That's, dope, that's pretty you. dope. Um, but I like Bud. I like Bud as a fighter, a person, and everything. But 
I ain't gonna lie, Earl, my dog, bro. I love Earl. I really like. I study Earl, like body work and all that. Man, I got Earl winning. I ain't gonna lie. You sided with him. <laughs> it's I all got, good. I, I got Earl I, winning. At the end of the day, but, it's a fight though. But if he cracks him, he lands. Bruh, Bud <laughs> got that power that you just don't see mm. coming. Like, I don't know what's in his glove or whatever he got going <laughs> on. But, like, if he hit you, it'd be like, nice bruh. And plus, he, he can box pretty good. But I think Bud get hit a little bit too, too much. much. And um, I think Earl has that size. Um, You know, of course, the experience, the body frame and all those things. And uh, the will. I think that Earl would probably come out on top in that fight. Um. Possibly by stoppage. Mm. You tripping, mm. tripping. Hey, I'm a, hey, the chat said what he said, bro. He ain't tripping shit. But if you think, no, nah, also real, think about it. Like, think about Earl versus um Sean Porter. Don't get me wrong. Like, Terrence Crawford knocked them out too. But um at the same time, like, even with that fight, like, Sean really got a chin. Like, Sean didn't been hit with some, been in there with some guys and got hit. Sean will keep coming forward. Um, I think that those two both definitely got the power. But. I feel like when when Sean fought Terrence, I mean Earl, he had already been with Earl in the ring, you know, all other guys. So he got the wear and tear. He's older. Then I feel like him, him and his, like in a, I guess in the boxing world, like him and his dad was going through stuff, and like his dad kind of pulled the plug a little too early though. Like I don't even think it was that bad of a it wasn't like, a knockdown. It's hard him. to compare. Yeah, it's hard to compare. It, it was you know? not the same Sean. Yeah, it wasn't the same Sean. Mm-hmm. And um. But this is a 50-50 fight that you would you really don't know 100% who will win. Hey, yeah, on the real, know. bro. Like, it is a 50-50 fight, but I'm definitely signing with Earl, so I ain't going to lie. I, 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 don't worry about it. I'm going to hit you up, and I'm going to sh- Team <laughs> Red Shirt. <laughs> Team Red Shirt today. Yeah, he's going to leave you hanging, bro? <laughs> he let me hang. I said, damn. I was going to hit him. He was going to say. Nah, but when, when Bud stops him, I'm going I'm I'm to I'm hit you up, and I'm going to hit you up. I'm going to let y'all know. Like, look, I told y'all so. Nah, Bud's going to win that fight, though. Big Earl. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, hey, but both of them are superstars, and both of them are the two top guys at forty-seven, without a doubt. And they need to fight oh, yeah, him, man. Sure. They need to give us that fight. Whether one is but one man, or one is I two, I hope it happened this year. It has to, it man. Has to, I has really to. hope, especially because Bud is damn old. And he's getting older. Yeah. Old. We get in the tank and Garcia fight. Boom, that's gonna be an amazing fight. Loma Haney. Oh, uh, we get the Loma Haney. Why not get the? Fact. We had the Caleb Plant versus Fact. Benavidez. Benavidez. That, that was fight too. crazy. Dope fight. So why, man? We gotta like come out with a banger at the end of the year. At the end of the year, I want to see Spence and Bud, and I want to see Tyson Fury and uh, Usyk. Oh, that's gonna be a sick fight. Yeah, oh, I got Tyson Fury though. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Too size big. is too yeah, big. Yeah, too big for too him. Big, man. Too slick. Give me your top three pound for pound right now. Uh, my top three pound for pound. Oh, this is tough. Um. All right. <laughs> I've been putting him on the spot too he's much, y'all. taking his time with this one. <laughs> I got I to gotta be a little bit more precise. But, again, it's my opinion. It doesn't have to be in order. Just my give me three. Opinion. I mean, Power for Pounds is opinionative anyway. Yeah. I, I ain't going to put it in no order. It ain't no order. I feel like these all guys, these guys that I'm going to name probably share number one. Um, I'm going to go with Earl. Mm. Get your ass to number I'm going to go with Tyson Fury. <laughs> no heavyweights. No heavyweights. No heavyweights? No heavyweights. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go Earl, Earl. Bivol, mm. well Bivol, right? Yeah, yeah. same yeah. shit. Bivol, <laughs> <laughs> um, him, only because he beat the king. Okay, because he was definitely my number one. Um, Facts, the little king. And I'm gonna have to give it to um. Damn. <laughs> Once Tank knockout. Don't 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 get mad at me. I know Tank ain't fought the best of the best opponents, but bro, I feel like he probably gonna clean up the division pretty nice. I'm gonna give it to Tank. That's my respectfully. What, my the, what division is Tank gonna clean up? Thirty five. You know he ain't cleaning shit up with, with Shakur and Devin Haney there. Nah. Ah. Nah. Uh, I don't know, man. Shout out to Tank, though, I man. don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. depending on Shout how he looked Tank. April 22nd. It's man. True, it's true. But he's going to sleep the shit out of Ryan Garcia, though. Well, we, we never, can't we, sleep we, on Ryan, though. No, no, no. no. Ryan. I'm not sleep sleeping on, on him. I'm saying he's going to go to sleep. Because it can be reversed, too. <laughs> no, no. Oh, for sure. No, Tank lands that left hook. It, it can happen. Because Tank, Tank has to do a, a lot. And he's going to have to do a lot of reaching. Yeah, he's going to have to so get You never him. know. Never know. I don't know, man. I, I got Tank by KO. Me, too. It's like seven, six, seven. Yeah. 
I think it'll be late eighth or ninth. Maybe. Tank, I mean, Ryan stands straight up and down. He ain't got no defense. It no defense. Yeah, way no no defense. The thing is that he depends so much on speed that he neglects defense. That's what happens when you are just focused on one thing. Yeah, for sure. I think Ryan just, if he do want to beat Tank, maybe he got to start off pretty fast in the fight. Uh, Tank is a slow starter. He calculates stuff. Um, he had to probably start fast. That's his best bet. If he doesn't win by a knockout, he damn sure ain't winning on points. So <laughs> it's just or, it's over. Hey, you never know. It can end up. It can end up in a draw. You, you never know. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see when Tank beats the shit. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yo, champ. So for your people in ATL and Ohio back at home, man, what what words of inspire of, of inspiration can you give them? Oh man, just whatever you're doing in life right now. Um. Because I have fans, you know, pretty much that do everything, you know, other than just boxing fans. They fans of everything. They do everything in all different careers. Whatever you're doing, go hard. Uh, if it's something you love, push. Take it to the top. Don't give up. You have good. You have bad days. Who gives a fuck? You know, just just keep going. Facts. That's facts, man. And you said April, April 29th. Right? April 29th. If, if you are or whenever it is, April, May, June, don't matter. It does, if it's here in Florida, we're going to be there, bro. And oh, after yeah, the sure. fight, like I said, we're going to take it to a real Cuban spot. Oh, nice. yeah. Bro, I'm with that. No, no, nah, nah, we got you. We got you. <laughs> the and, Cuban and spot, know, I'm really with. we know the spots. <laughs> Trust me, man. But before we wrap it up, bro, sign our glove, man. <laughs> oh, man. I uh, got you. You're going to have to come and sign it again once you become world champion. Oh, yeah. Hell, for sure. yeah. That's another thing, too. When you win the belts, man, don't forget about us. You got to come back out here. You know what's so crazy, bro? I did a uh, podcast with my boy. He was like, yo, don't forget about me. I said, never. <laughs> That was years ago. <laughs> he forgot about his ass. <laughs> Never forgot about him. Nah. Mm-hmm. At, at all, man. Oh, what's today? April 9th. The, yeah, 9th. Uh, gotcha. Well, sure, champ man. again, man. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate you. On a Sunday Easter, you know, you could have been doing other things, but you yeah, show definitely. love, so really appreciate that, man. Oh, man, really definitely, appreciate man. It. I appreciate y'all for locking me in and giving me the interview and giving me the time of day, man. Uh, I appreciate sure, y'all. Bro. Much love. So you already know, any messages to to your fans right here? A little message? Oh, man, just pretty much uh, just continue to keep supporting me. Um, Come to every fight. Even if you can't make it, just make sure you watch it. Um, I'll fight for y'all, you know? So I really appreciate everyone that's supporting me. It's lit. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.